Other than that, we're finding a lot of old film and pictures as we celebrate our 75th anniversary as Utah's first television station. It's our way of sharing these memories with all of us who grew up with TV. Yeah, our original owner actually started doing television shows in Salt Lake City almost 10 years before we signed on. In 1948 is Utah's pioneer station. Yeah, 84 years ago, our founder, Sid Fox, amazed thousands of Utahns with weeks of closed circuit live television shows at a department store. Craig Wirth has the amazing pictures and stories of those 1939 TV programs that thrilled Utah crowds. A man named Sid Fox had to be one of Utah's most colorful promoters in the 1930s and 40s. He owned a radio station. He threw lavish parties and hung around with stars. Oh, and he smoked expensive cigars. He also hired a photographer to follow him day and night, his own paparazzi, and even saying goodbye to the radio station bowling team. You gotta love his promotions for his radio station. He once buried a live person and had crowds parade past a wooden shaft to see her, of course, as she listened to his radio station. He was Utah's P.T. Barnum, but television, that was his ultimate promotion. Yes, TV, a brand new invention. Oh, that would be swell. By 1939, there were traveling TV tent shows. Wow, they were packing them in, like electronic traveling medicine shows. The biggest was from RCA at the New York World's Fair. Sid joined the crowds. Oh, this could be the greatest promotion ever. Sid owners in metropolitan New York enjoy the novel experience of receiving pictures through the air. Well, Sid simply had the whole RCA kit and caboodle hauled to Utah. Yes, in 1939. Of course, he billed it as the modern miracle of science. He posted circus-type bills. You've heard about television. You've talked about television. Now it's here. It's today's magic word, the miracle of science. The 1939 newspapers proclaimed, swaddling radio gets its eyes open. Oh, Sid was at work. He got the old Paris department store to use as his stage. This was his circus. Thousands pushed their way into the store. Yes, come see the greatest achievement of the 20th century. He had three TV sets. Come on, keep on moving. More crowds waited for hours for a glimpse of Sid Fox's show. The headlines were perfect. Television show amazes crowds of Salt Lakers. First public show attracts thousands. Could you imagine the sight of 1,000 people here on 3rd South, all waiting to get into the Paris, the Paris department store behind me, to see the modern miracle of science, television. Yes, this was 1939, and he put on a week's worth of shows on those three sets. A full week of programming that people could crowd in to see. He put out the world's first TV guide. He started with a newscast. Oh, he brought in a live orchestra and a group of dancers. One was a young girl, Lloyd Drexel. She danced on the second floor while crowds watched on the first floor. It was just remarkable and people were standing around this one little set that was, would um, get static once in a while and once in a while you'd see a picture just in awe that, wow, that's from clear upstairs in this building. And Utah had one of the first examples of TV ever. The set featured a small screen and a mirror that reflected the picture. We thought if we could run fast enough, we'd see ourselves downstairs on the t monitor. Don't miss the thrill of television. Calling all redheads and twins, be on TV. Oh my goodness, he crammed in more programming, every possible program. The papers were filled with daily reports of shows. People wanted TV. Well, we had programs and a program director and a camera and three sets. All Sid Fox was missing was a TV station in 1939. There was no doubt. He would have a TV station, our station today, as soon as he could. 
Craigworth, ABC 4 News.